Hey, what's up everybody? Today, we'll be looking at five ways to instantly improve your drive rush pressure. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, don't leave gaps in your pressure. Doing drive rush from a long range normal is a great way to get in and apply pressure. However, some normals will leave a gap when canceled into. When doing a drive rush, you lose the ability to block and to do drive parry. You can only do attacks, throws, or a drive impact. If there's a gap in your string, you give your opponent a chance to do a reversal that you cannot guard. In this example, Ken does crouching medium kick into drive rush. The crouching medium kick is blocked, and then Ken does crouching light punch. This is a gapless string. Even if the opponent mashes buttons, nothing will come out because they are stuck in block stun. In this next example, Ken does the same thing, but this time he goes into standing medium punch. But standing medium punch has slower startup than crouching light punch, so there's a gap. Ryu mashes on Odi Shoryuken and uses the invulnerability frames to blow through Ken's pressure. In short, you have to go into training mode and figure out your gapless strings with your main character. It's important to check which of your moves are gapless and which are not. Generally speaking, any long range medium kick or punch into jab is gapless and will force your opponent to block, letting you go for a strike throw mix up. This leads us to tip number two. Learn to hit confirm your drive rush cancels. Always going for gapless strings from drive rush cancels is safe, but you lose out on a lot of damage if it hits. In example one, Ken goes for a gapless crouching medium kick into crouching light punch combo. In example two, Ken hit confirms the drive rush from crouching medium kick and goes for a crouching hard punch instead. It does so much more damage than the first example. You can practice drive rush hit confirms easily in training mode. Set the dummy to random guard. Then go for a long range normal into drive rush. If it's blocked, Go into a gapless button to keep your pressure. If it hits, go into your most damaging button and do a combo. Do this 10 times in a row without any mistakes. If you find this difficult, try setting the game speed to 50% in training mode options. Then practice it again. You can set the game speed back to standard once you're able to hit confirm consistently at 50% speed. Tip number three, expand your mix up options on guard. A big mistake many people make is only going for frame traps or throws every time from drive rush. You might think this is a 50-50 mix-up between strike or throw, but it actually isn't. An immediate strike throw mix-up can be defended against with a delayed throw or by simply holding back in some situations. You'll have to mix up with a shimmy to blow up players who always use delayed throw tech. Just be sure to use a normal that gives you enough space to walk backwards out of your opponent's throw range. If you don't know what a shimmy is, watch my video about them here. A lot of opponents will hold back to avoid your throw and to take space. You can easily beat this by doing a crouching light kick into light punch. This will stop opponents from holding back during your pressure. The reward isn't huge, but you'll need to use this option if you notice your opponent stand guarding during your pressure. Tip number four, don't forget about drive impact reversals during your pressure. A common mistake that some people make is going 100% into offensive mode and forgetting about reversal drive impact from the opponent. Reacting to a reversal drive impact isn't hard if you're aware, but it can catch you by surprise if you aren't thinking about this defensive option from your opponent. Just remember to always look out for a reversal drive impact when you go for drive rush pressure and I'm sure you'll be able to react more reliably. And our last tip, tip number five, is labbing and practicing your throw ranges after pressure from drive rush. Some attacks have more pushback on block than others. Unfortunately, choosing the wrong attack will put you out of throw range. Other moves will do the opposite. They'll keep you too close to your opponent, which means you can't do a shimmy and are forced to go for a frame trap or throw break attempt. Be sure to go into training mode with your main character and figure out which moves from what kind of drive rush will put you into which ranges. You can pick and choose what kind of range you want based on the offensive pressure you want to set up. That's it for this video. If you learned something useful, please like and subscribe. Try this out in your matches and let me know if your win rate improves. Until next time, take care.